emotion, the excitement. Sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. On second and goal, Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Patriots touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So now here are the Broncos for their first drive of the game. They'll be led out by their quarterback in his 12th NFL season now. It's the veteran Joe Flacco. He's hitting his mid-30s now, but you think of recent years. Veterans like Brady, Breeze, Rivers, and Roethlisberger excelled into their mid to late 30s. The question, can Joe Flacco continue his NFL career? Of course, the MVP of Super Bowl 47. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their own 24. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro linebacker. It's Von Miller, and the return will stop right around the 25. They could not ask for a worse start. You give up a touchdown on the game's opening drive, and then you turn right around and throw the interception on your very first play. And this is where the coaching staff has to earn its money because they've got to calm these guys down a little bit. Just as you noted, a horrendous start both sides of the ball. But now the defense, which gave up an opening drive touchdown, they've got to go out there now and start playing like the team they want to be. Earlier, Charles, we were discussing New England's hot start to the season. Let's keep doing that as they roll back out here on offense. Week one, they win 33 to three. Week two against Miami, 43 to nothing. So math majors at 76 to three, they've outscored their opponents so far. What a Super Bowl letdown for them. Yeah. You, know, you hoist the Lombardi trophy the next year, you have trouble getting started. <laughs> and isn't the book on New England essentially after the first month of every season, they're two and two. Mm -hmm. And then they win 12, 13 games and you see them in the Super Bowl. They may get off to a super fast start this year. Next up, home against the Jets. Then they go to Buffalo, who's been surprising in the early going at 2-0. And then they're at Washington, who is on two. Interesting, three straight AFC East games early in the season for them. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz, the intended target, and it's third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Mahomes. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Joe Flacco and company heading back out onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good.